Hello, BHS drillers, how are you? Happy January, I'm not gonna be gone, I'm not gonna be gone, I'm not gonna be here for the next few days, so I thought I would give you this quick video about presidential elections uh, for your test on Wednesday. So, a few things I want you to keep in mind for that. Number one, don't forget, when we talk about elections, most election laws actually come from the state level. So there's two big decisions states make when it comes to presidential elections. One, what kind of primary are they going to have? And two, what date are they going to do it on? So remember, there are four essential steps when you're talking about presidential elections. Step one is where we are today. Right now, it's January of 2015. I just watched the Seahawks come back on the Packers 10 minutes ago, so I'm in a little bit of a bad mood, but that's okay. I will contain myself, I'll get myself together just for you guys. We're in this phase in January 2015 of testing the waters. Um, and so who's going to be in the election right now? We're trying to figure out who's jumping in, who's jumping out, who's going to be fundraising, who's going to be getting the big donors, who's going to be getting the endorsements. Um, and so right now, in the Republican side, we're trying to figure out, um, is Ted Cruz getting in? Is, is Jeb Bush getting in? Is Romney getting in? And the Democratic side, is Elizabeth Warren going to get in? Is Hillary Clinton going to have any real uh, competition, or is she even in? She hasn't even said we're in. So right now, we're just testing the waters, trying to raise some money, perhaps, um, figuring out who your consultants are going to be, making early trips to Iowa and New Hampshire, because this time next year, January of 2016, is step two, and that is when the actual voting begins. Now remember, a primary election is very different than a general election. In the primary, it's the party competing against itself. So you have all of the Republicans, all of the Democrats, and they're competing against one another because they want to be the one nominee for their party at their national convention in the summer of 2016. So what happens is each state and even some of the territories have their own elections. And so those are called primary elections. And there are really a few different kinds of primary elections you need to be aware of. The most common kind is what we would call a, a, an open primary where the party membership gets to vote and then independents get to choose which election they get to vote in as well. So in an open primary, Democrats get to vote in the Democratic primary and then independents can choose either a Republican ba ballot or a Democratic ballot. And so you have closed primaries, or you also have uh, closed primaries where uh, only the party membership gets to vote. And so if you wanna vote in the Republican primary or the closed primary, you have to be a registered Republican. Democrats don't get to have it, independents don't get to do that. Um, and then sometimes you have something called a semi-closed, where the party membership gets to vote and independents get to decide which one they're in. And then finally you have a caucus, which is not like a primary at all. You don't vote in a ballot in, 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 in a voting booth and then leave. You actually have to show up. It's more like a party uh, a meeting. Uh, you have to make an argument for your candidate. Uh, and this is what Iowa has, for instance. And the very first voting is a caucus, in the Iowa caucus. So make sure you know that in the primary process, the earlier the state votes, the more important it is. That's why Iowa is so important. That's why New Hampshire is the first primary in the country. That's why South Carolina is always important. It's because they are the early ones. After the early states vote, they get increasingly less important. Uh, usually the nomination is wrapped up by April. The exception to that rule is 2008 with Hillary and, and Barack Obama. Um, but typically, uh, the, the earlier the state, the more important it is. That's why we have that term front-loading. States will try and uh, schedule an earlier primary to make themselves more important. Now, once all the states are done, uh, the, 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 and each state has a certain number of delegates. The bigger uh, the state, the more populous, the more delegates it has. And they don't actually cast their votes until they get to the national convention, which is the third step. And the party out of power has the first convention, followed by the party in power. And what they do is they get together, and all the delegates show up at this national convention, and they vote for a nominee. Nowadays, it's a foregone conclusion. Uh, now that we have a, a kind of a more progressive era of, of voter participation, uh, the state delegates tend to vote for who the state voted for. Uh, now, a few people who don't represent the states are called superdelegates, and they can vote for whoever they want to, but nowadays, they pretty much just are going to vote for who the states voted for. And so, once you get to the national convention in the summer before the election, the delegates get together, they cast their ballots, and once you get a majority of the delegates vote, then you are the party's, party's nominee, which leads us to the fourth step of the presidential election, which is the general election, which generally begins, no pun intended, after Labor Day. And not a lot of things happen here that, except for the presidential debates. Presidential debates, it, it, it's arguable if they make a difference or not, but they are important. Make sure you know those famous moments about, um, you know, Reagan saying, I will not let my opponent's youth and inexperience, uh, George H.W. Bush looking at his watch, 
um, that famous moment in the vice presidential debate where Lloyd Benston said, you are no Jack Kennedy. And so make sure you know those presidential debates are important in the fourth stage. And then of course, they vote in November. And of course, actually the real presidential debate isn't until January when the vice president counts the electoral votes. So those are the four steps of a presidential uh, election. I hope this has been helpful. Good luck.